And look at verse number three. The Bible says, For my voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. And I'm going to encourage you to take this to heart, where he's saying, My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, to start your day off right. Start your day off by communicating with the Lord. So he's saying, you know, right from early in the morning, you're going to hear from me, God. And, you know, we ought to be hearing from him as well. A, a great way to start your day is with some Bible reading and prayer. Every single day, if you have that instituted just in your life, I mean, look, do what you want to do. I'm just trying to help give you a little bit of wisdom to set the pace, set the tone for your day. If you wake up, and, and I've done this many times, you get used to a habit or routine. You wake up, you get ready to work, you go off to work, and you're just kind of focused on all the things for the day. You know, it doesn't mean you're necessarily just going to do something really bad, but what, what's going to happen is if you start your day by taking time aside right away, the first fruits of your day, taking the first of your day, the best of your day, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to take this before I do anything else. I'm going to take this time and I'm going to pray and I'm going to read my Bible and, and communicate with God. And that will help you set the course or the pace of the day throughout the day. It'll help you to be able to meditate on God's word throughout the day. So you're not just forgetting about the word of God. You're not forgetting about godly things. You're starting off the day right. So yes, you're still going to focus on work and other things that you have going on. But when you start the day off in prayer and in reading, you're going to be thinking about those things throughout the day. Just periodically, they're going to be already in your mind because You've placed them there because you decided to put that side a time for the Lord. And when we do the prayer challenge, it's going to be helpful to do prayers in the morning as well as in the evening. I know it's kind of a, um, a common thing for people to do their prayers at night. I do a lot of my prayer at night. I do most of my prayers and I do other prayers throughout the day. But the majority of my time is spent at night. It's just kind of the, the habit I've formed. But it's a, it, it's a good idea and a better idea to have prayers done in the morning and, and spend a significant amount of time praying in the morning, reading the Bible. If you have to say, well, I just barely get up early enough to go to work now, get up earlier. If you get up earlier, then you could go to bed earlier because you've already gotten a lot of stuff out of the way. But this is going to be a good, a good way to, uh, to start the day.